Hey, what's up guys? So, uh, uh, first off, I would like to say that I'm sorry for not making a video in such a long time. Um, the reason for that is because I didn't really have any more motivation or ideas to make videos about. So, that's probably most likely the reason why. Um, but I got a request a few days back about somebody asking how to import custom textures into Radiant. So, I'll just quickly explain that as good as I can and uh, I hope it's helpful. So first off what you have to do is you're gonna find a texture. So I'm gonna find a wooden texture because I wanna make a floor. So here we go, texture. All you have to do is just copy it over into Photoshop or Paint, it doesn't really matter, whichever you prefer. So there we go, Photoshop. Then we're gonna save it, save as it's very important that you save this file or this texture into your Call of Duty directory so wherever it's installed I'm just gonna save mine in the main file so I'm gonna name it um, wooden floor um, I just don't take any just don't 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 put any um, spaces into your name or any capital letters it's very important so just a normal name, no capital letters, no spaces. And then for the format that you're gonna save your file in, um, it's gonna be in Targa or a JPEG file. No other file will work. There is one file that will work, but I don't really remember which one that was. So uh, I'm sure that JPEG or T TGA will work. So to keep it easy, I'll just take a JPEG and I'll save this in the main folder. Right now, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna open the asset manager, and right here you see a list. So in that list, you're gonna pick material, <coughs> select it, and then as a name, you're gonna take um, wooden floor, perhaps. So no capital letters, no spaces. I think you can use underscores, but I'm not sure you're, you're gonna have to mess around with that but I'm just I just type one word and that's it so when you have a name no capital letters no spaces remember um, then you're gonna press new entry also make sure the material is selected so new entry okay if the name is already already present just press ok then what you're gonna take right here is 2d and then you got a shitload of options that you can mess around with. So surface type, uh, in my case this is gonna be wood and what this option is gonna do is it's gonna it's gonna tell the engine which kind of bullet impact and which kind of debris has to fly out of your brush that you created if you are in game. So if you were to take um, for example, let's take sand. There's probably going to be a little bit of dust and pieces of sand going to be flying out. Uh, that's not what you want from wood. You have you want to have some wooden debris coming out. So I'm just going to take wood. That's what that option is going to do. And then you have sort. That's not really important. Let's just keep that as default. <coughs> and then you have usage. This is pretty important um, because you have to find your texture in Radiant um, so I'm gonna take floor because it just, it's just an option if you have worked with Radiant you'll know what I mean this is, um, these are all the texture, texture thingies in Radiant you know, you should check it out I'm just gonna take floor I already explained this part I think in one of my tutorials so I'm not gonna explain that now alright, floor and then the frame buffer operations, let's not touch those, um, they're fine as they are. And then you have color map, this is where you're gonna open up your texture. So, how to open up your texture? Well, you're gonna click the three dots, the button right here, then this window will pop up. Um, you're gonna go to the folder where you saved your texture, which is right here, wooden floor. Open up, and as you can see, the the JPEG is now right here, so that's good. If that happened, then you're on a good way. 
So, right now, this is gonna give a shitload of errors if you if you um, compile this. So, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to put this option, which says tile both, to no tile, and the MIP standard is going to be changed to no MIP no MIP bilinear. So there we go. And also you're gonna select n no pick MIP. Right there. And that should be uh, about all of the things that you have to alter in the asset manager. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna save the GDT file which is from the asset manager. And you're gonna save it right here in the source data file folder and you're gonna name it wooden floor no I, I already got that so wooden texture there we go <coughs> and then once that's saved uh, you're gonna have to go to PC convert up here uh, and you're gonna take current asset only the reason for that is because if you were to compile all the assets that would take a long time because there are quite a lot so just take the current asset only and it should convert just fine like that and now your texture should be ready to use in Radiant